been a while, but hello fellow leaders. I am back at it today because time is of the essence. As I mentioned in my life updates video, which all of three of you saw, I have this package here from the Angelic Forest. I hope it's common knowledge by now, but the Angelic Forest is an American indie brand and they are responsible for many adorable prints and accessories, including one of my favorite prints of all time, the Girly Gang which I have reviewed in another video, which I will put here. A lot of people were lamenting in the comment section of that video that they missed out on the girly gang and that they wish they could have gotten in on the MTO when it was available. Well, good news, because right now, the Angelic Forest is doing another MTO for the girly gang. The style has been tweaked a little bit with a longer skirt, a new, more vibrant printed fabric, a slightly different bodice style with three ribbons instead of one, and a brand new colorway, which is a dark pink that I am so tempted by, I cannot even tell you. Anyway, I think my girly gang dress is easily my most worn dress of the pandemic. So the Angelic Forest decided to release some end of year lucky packs. I bought this one, I think back in January or February. I also ordered the Unicorn Seance skirt much later. Ash, the owner and creator of the Angelic Forest brand, reached out to offer to combine shipping. So this box should contain the end of year lucky pack and the Unicorn Seance skirt. And Ash was so sweet to reach out and offer this to me. She refunded me the difference in shipping cost and I love saving money, so I am here for it. But Ash also gave me the heads up that the JSK contained within in the Lucky Pack is made from the same manufacturer as the new Girly Gain fabric. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing to give you the lowdown on this new version of fabric. And since it's been a while since I did any coordination challenges, I'm gonna do an off the cuff coordinate of whatever JSK is in here. I've seen a couple other New Year's Lucky Pack unboxings and Lovely Lore's recent video. So I have a sneaking suspicion that this will be dreamy strawberry desserts in mint. But today I'm going to prove for once and for all that all of my coordinate videos are done off the cuff with very little planning and I will walk you through my thought process as part of the making of this video and you will get to see firsthand. We're opening the dress. Here I have two receipts, one for the unicorn sale skirt and one for the end of year JSK Lucky Pack. So it's not gonna be the focus of this video, but I will give you a quick peek at the Unicorn Seance skirt, which comes with this lovely postcard. Oh, the head bow alone is stunning. This is gonna go with so much of my wardrobe too, especially my classic pieces. I just wanna put this on now. <gasps> I love it. Here is the skirt. This is absolutely stunning. I'm not going to be coordinating it today, but check the comments if you want to see me do a review and coordination challenge with this in the future. But for now, I will set this to the side, but I'm, I'm keeping the head bell on. I'm really digging it. <laughs> All right. Okay, I was correct. This is the Dreamy Strawberry Desserts print and this set included a face mask. I'm not gonna put this on right now because I'm gonna get my makeup all over it, but looks to be a great fit. Simple design of a face mask and it does have a wire in the nose. I know that in most places in the world, face masks are not really going to be needed anymore, but I'm still waiting for the other shoe to drop. So I'm still going to be wearing face masks whenever I go indoors for shopping and stuff like that. And I'm going to give this baby a lot of use and a lot of love. Plus this is the only face mask I have that matches any of my dresses. So if and when I go to a meet up again and I feel safe to do that. I guess I know which dress I'm probably gonna wanna wear. Here is the hair clip that came with the print. Whoa. And here is the dress, and this is the mint colorway. I was a little nervous I might have gotten the chocolatey brown and pink version of this dress, which is so cute. I just don't have a lot of brown in my wardrobe, but I've been collecting mint pieces without having any major mint staples in my wardrobe until now. So Ash told me to look out for the fabric and said that it was a heavier weight and that it was still very soft and it is still 100% cotton. Can confirm this is silk and smooth and lovely. We'll see how it goes after I wash it. If an update is needed, I will post one. The dress has this little tiny milkshake detail. How cute. Similarly to the girly gang, this does have a front and back bow with no waist ties. As always, the dresses have pockets. And this design has a lot of lace detailing, like this lace here along the princess seams, at the edge of the straps, and at the border of 
the hem. This dress also has snaps instead of buttons, though these ones are circle shaped instead of heart shaped like they were on Girly Gang. Here is the shirring panel, which is quite forgiving. I'm very excited. When I say Girly Gang is like my most comfortable dress ever, this is a big reason why. I love the one third shirring. It doesn't have that look of half shirring where sometimes you turn a little bit and you can see the shirring as it meets your back and the underarm seam. This gives a little bit more of a buffer because there's this area here where the bodice wraps around to the back. Let's actually take a look at these two dresses side by side since we might as well. With the front bows, by the way, this is about the same length as this. So this one stays taut and kind of flat whereas this one kind of falls forward. Also, you can see the bodices are about the same length, but the Strawberry Dessert JSK has another two inches or so of fabric on the end, and the lace is a lot shorter. So overall, I think there's less of a need for me to wear an underskirt with this new dress, but otherwise you can tell the cut is basically the same. Turning them around to the back, and here once again, you can see that both of the back bows have this longer piece, but again, the new bow is holding firm. It is staying up. And the girly gang bow was a little more droopy sounds bad. I don't want to say that like it's a dig against this bow. I actually quite like the way that bow looks on me. It's just a difference and I'm not sure if that has to do with the weight of the fabric or if there's more interfacing in the new one. One thing to note is that the girly gang JSK is lined and this new JSK is not. Girly gang came to me with the straps already crossed. On the new JSK the straps did not come crossed. I'm not sure sure how that will affect the way it wears. So this one also has care instructions just like Girly Gang. Both dresses have care instructions and the tags for the brand and the size on the inside of the bodice. Aha! There were also some little accessories included. Here is a car air freshener and a little tiny ring. Okay. So for coordinating this dress, I could go in a couple of different ways. For one thing, I know that the mint version of my Sakura Deerfield short sleeve blouse will go absolutely fabulously with this because I've seen other people coordinate those two things together. White would of course also be a great option for a blouse, but I'm actually wondering how this will look with red to match the strawberries. I have a bunch of different red blouses. Some are really vibrant, some are less vibrant. So we could give that a look-see. I'm going to use both of the accessories that came with this dress and the lucky pack as part of the coordinate. As for what else to include, that is a good question. I have this pink and blue BB&B &B deco macaron necklace that I think would actually go really well. This does have a strawberry on it that is pink. It also has raspberries. So yeah, I think I'm probably going to use this necklace. Hmm, but one other option would be this blooming strawberries necklace. It's a bit shorter, but I think this dress calls for something that's really truly sweet. And can you tell that I have a lot from bb and Deco that includes strawberries? Because I seriously love the way they make strawberries. Here's another option. This one's also a macaron with a strawberry on top, but this is definitely more of a true blue sax. Looking at the two of these, as far as matching the actual print, I think this macaron is still holding out a little bit stronger. So ding, 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 we have a winner. This will be the accessory for the neck. Well, that's some really easy stuff out of the way. Let's take a look at blouses. Okay, we're in my room that has the closet, so let's take a peek at what we could possibly pair with this. So right off the bat, here is that Sakura Deerfield Perfect Mint Match, a great option. We're gonna put this inside. This is the Centaur Bishop Sleeve Blouse. And actually, yeah, that's pretty dang cute, but I think it's probably a little too classic. Story in a future video to come about why I still have this. Unfortunately, it's not ready to be worn yet. I still need to do a couple tweaks to it, but it would be pretty fabulous. So here's my Peacock Alarm blouse. Oh my god, that is so freaking fabulous. This not only matches the body of the pink, but it matches the pink and the strawberries. This is a fabulous option. Like, I think this might be our number one contender. And I also bought the same fabric, same blouse in a shorter version. And yeah, that's an even better fit. White would, of course, be perfect for this, but not quite right here. I mean, the centaur of blouse. Oh, it's such a good match, too. No, I must resist. I must resist. And I wish Centauro made a mint version of this because the sage green is so pretty, but it does not match that. 
So I was down to these two, and I definitely think we have to go with the more off the beaten path option, the Peacock Alarum Custom Pink Blouse. While we're here, let me just grab a petticoat. Now for the shoes, most of my options are over here. That could be very adorable. Obvious no-brainer here, I should be wearing mid shoes. Got one more thing next. I think for bags, I pretty much have to go with April Ann, my custom bunny that I made in this other video. I mean, that's a great match, but I also have Kearney and Montgomery and a strawberry Usakunia. This is too cute for words. It's got just the littlest bit of green to play into those greens, so I'm so sorry, April Ann. I think we are going to favor the Usakunia here. I do have the strawberry beret, and I do think that would look quite cute to pick up some more stuff, but I'm not really loving the toughness and coarseness of this fabric with the rest of this fabric. Here is my disorganized hat rack. Hmm, pink's not the greatest match, but it does have yellow and white elements, which I quite like in combination here. Oh no, you know what? I have, I don't know why I didn't think of these sooner, but these strawberry <laughs> ice cream hair scoops are like perfect because of the milkshake -y element and I can put that on one of them. Oh my God. Of course, I have to use one of my own confection mirrors. For socks, I've got my collection mixed in, unfortunately, with my normal socks. These are pink, that could work. I sure do wish that I had a Lolita designated sock drawer because, oh my goodness, it can be very hard to find things. There's also, of course, the possibility of tights. This is way too vibrant a pink. And I do have a dark teal, but I don't have like a mint. Our options are actually kind of slim, unless, dare I bring brown back into the mix? It's an option, certainly it's an option, Neapolitan. I could also just go for red. Red socks, or red accent on white. Yeah, that's good, that's good. I think we're getting pretty close here. I'm still not sure about which socks I'm going to use. Last little bit of housekeeping is wristwear and I've got some options these in two different colors by dawn and morning dew if I were to go with this style I'd have to pretty much pick the pink got homemade white wrist cuffs also pretty good this kind of matches Usakumi here I do have red wrist cuffs which will tie in a little bit with some of the gold elements that I'm introducing and the darker red will tie in with these so that's an option too but yeah I would say those are pretty much the strongest options for me wrist cuff wise okay that's quite a lot of stuff I guess I'm gonna go get changed and I will be back soon and now everyone will be able to see exactly why I consider hodgepodge Lolita to be my brand. I ended up bringing in a lot more dark red than I had expected because I really, really wanted to make this Usakumia work and the bright red on its own just really stood out as weird. So bringing in some of the darker red kind of balanced it out, at least in my opinion. Anyway, let's talk about what I'm wearing. The blouse and overskirt are by Peacock Alarum on Etsy. I have worn the longer version of this blouse before and I love love the short version just as much, if not more. This is perfect for summer months when you want to add a little extra oomph to a cord and stay comfy. Highly recommended. My necklace is by bb and &B Deco. The mint hair bows and red neck ribbon are from the Lolita Collective. The ice cream scoops I've got on my head are by Beholder Fashions on Etsy. My socks are by Roji Roji, affiliate link below. My shoes are Irregular Choice Bunny Hops. My petticoat is by Me Likes Tea. This this is the Organza A-Line Petticoat. My wrist cuffs are from Taobao. I don't remember the brand, but if I can find it, I will put the link in the description. My mirror pin is one of my own. I just launched my own big cartel, and the link is in the description. Thank you to those who've supported my work thus far. And of course, my bag is by Baby the Stars Shine Bright, and it is Usakumia who wants to be a strawberry. Apologies for the coordinate footage. I am filming on my 
own today with a tripod and I am still trying to figure out how I can do that without my partner's help. He is increasingly busy, I am increasingly busy, and our schedules never match up. So this is a bit experimental and if you think it works, please give me a comment of encouragement below so I will know that I can do this. And if this is acceptable quality, I am probably going to be able to put out more Lolita content in the future, so please do give me that feedback. Quantity, quality, we shall see. So yeah, as you can see, my coordination process is quite chaotic at times. When I get my hands on something and I try to coordinate it immediately with stuff I have on hand, it's kind of hit or miss as to whether or not my wardrobe will have the things I need to make it work. And especially with the hues present in this mystery dress, I would have to say that this is not a bad first attempt, even if it's not super polished. It's very detailed, in my opinion, more is more, is more, is more, is more. I think this coordination process has exposed some serious holes in my wardrobe. I need more pink socks, and in fact, I need socks in varying lengths. As you can probably tell, the Roji Roji socks that I've got on right now are a bit of a stretch for me as far as fit goes. They're supposed to be over the knees, and you can tell they've been made for somebody who is shorter and skinnier than me, but I make them work because legwear is one of those things that's just really hard to find when you are a larger bodied Lolita. I also definitely need to get more variety of pink wristwear. Wristwear is something I've always struggled with. I need to look into more basic headwear, I think. I really wish that I had some sort of centered head bow, but I'm happy with what I did and I really, really love the opportunity to wear these Beholder Fashions fuzzy strawberry scoops on my head. I think they are so adorable and I'm getting a little bit Sailor Moon vibes and they almost look like bear ears, which is cute because Usakumia is of course actually a boy. I'm not going to out you. So having bunnies on my shoes and Usakumia wearing this bunny hat and me having bare ear looking things. I don't know, it just all kind of worked for me. I'm happy with this coordinate, especially given that I did it in 30 minutes, but what do you think? Sound off in the comments below. So yes, please definitely go check out Ash's work at the Angelic Forest and order Girly Gang in a new colorway for me, will you? I don't have room in my closet for a lot of new stuff right now. And speaking of new stuff, I've got stuff to vote on in the comments once again, so check out what I have to open next time and give it a thumbs up if you want to see me review it. Like, share, and subscribe for more Lolita content, you know the drill. I have been Ellie Vira, you have been an absolutely fabulous audience, and thank you for bearing with me through all of my wrestling stuff. I love you guys, seriously, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!